Okay, so now for the application install. So what we're going to do is uh, I've gone to the app server and we're going to need to set up the uh, CD drive to actually have the uh, centricity ISO there. So we'll come to the CD DVD, we'll do use um, ISO image file, we're going to have to browse uh, to find that on this computer. Uh, I've got it in desktop under experience, so I'll pull that up and I'll do that. And I didn't notice there really quickly um, whether or not it did um, show up in the um, CD drive or not. I think what I did was I think I um, did not tell it to uh, connect. So let's go back to the um, removable devices and we'll say connect. And when we do that, that should put up um, CPS uh, 10 you see here on uh, or it's actually CPS 11. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the DVD to the hard drive. Uh, that way all the files are there. Um, and we have to do a .NET installation before that works. But that puts all the files uh, onto that particular server. And we don't have to keep worrying about whether we have that um, DVD actually, you know, mounted in the uh, CD-ROM, the virtual CD-ROM drive each time. So we'll do this um, .NET Framework install, and then we'll do the Centricity install. Okay, so once we uh, complete this, what we're going to have is a uh, server setup icon that's going to be copied onto the desktop, and that's where we'll actually do our install from. So what we've done now, uh, normally we refer to this as uh, staging, so we're just kind of copying everything over and getting ready.
Now that's it for here. We're going to close this. We would put the you know, DVD into workstations uh, to put the client on. Uh, we're going to close this for here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get SQL Server um, installed, client tools installed on this uh, machine, which is our, uh, our app server. So again, uh, we'll go to removable devices, we'll do settings here. And we actually have this. shared folder. Okay, for that, um, again, we're doing a, uh, an installation of client tools in, in the uh, management studio. But to do that, we have to go through the whole staging, basically, for us to observe. Installation. The reason I 
find some tools here in the client tools connectivity if you haven't done that already. Do next here. CPS 11 server setup. And we're going to do the uh, demo database. And the database is going to be on the remote machine. We're on the uh, app server, and the database is on the SQL server. server here. And we'll notice that the port is and we'll go ahead and do finish it. SQL Server name is SQL Server, and on the SQL Server uh, username SA, remember that uh, I should create that account on the SQL Server.
base name is Demo. We leave the pass the same. Um, and so the first time we start up, uh, we want it to be uh, the application username that we just put in a couple of seconds ago. Uh, we'll switch it to Active Directory um, after we have created accounts and set them up back here. Right. So let's do next year. the defaults here. Next. Two. Copy that database over to the database server and actually start the application. database installation has been completed and we can go uh, actually to exit here. Now, uh, we don't. So we're not going to really know that this is functioning um, until we actually install um, a client that we use to connect uh, to the uh, server. And there's a couple ways we can do that. We actually have a uh, Windows 7, Windows 10 uh, machine that we connect. Um, but we can also go to our remote access server Pull this up. We can actually do an install over here, so that's what we're going to do in 